Yo, Wagwan me bread drinks. <laughs> I got mad munchy still, so I went, I took my ass to 7 Eleven and I bought these self heating beef hot pot. Wallahi, I didn't know <laughs> this <one laughs> was a thing, but you know, this cost me mad bills. <laughs> It was 269 Taiwan dollars, like, jeez! <laughs> Yo, but I'm about to go ham on <laughs> this hot pot right now, so... <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'm from Toronto, <laughs> how'd you know? <laughs> Can you imagine if all my YouTube videos were like that? Okay, now back to regular programming. Hey guys! <laughs> I can't, this is too funny. This is serious, okay? YouTube is serious. Hey guys! <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are trying this thing I just picked up at 7-Eleven. It is called Self-Heating Beef Hot Pot. Spicy flavor made by Heidi Lao, which is a really famous hot pot chain from China. So the package itself, as you can see, is really big. It's bigger than my head. And this costs 269 Taiwan dollars, which is about $9 US. So the really interesting thing about this is that it is completely self-heating so all you need to add is water and it says it can be served in 15 minutes. So here's a better look at the package. You can see the instructions. It's available in Chinese and in English. And then it also has the ingredients and nutrient content. Also some warnings. <laughs> Number one, do not tear open the heating bag which contains chemical material for heating. Do not use or touch if the package of the heating bag is damaged. Only add cold water to the heating bag. Warm or hot water is not allowed. Do not add water above the indicated line as it will overflow during heating. Do not touch and keep at least 0.5 meters away from the bowl during heating. Do not use it on a table with fast thermal conduction such as glass or marble. Do not use microwave oven, oven, stove, or fire to heat directly. Children and young under the age of 14 must cook under adult supervision. After the heating bag is used by adding water and the whole bag bulges up and remains warm, please be careful to get hot hands when taking it. Nice English. The heating bag is disposable and a waste product. After use, cool it to room temperature. Please properly discard it in the garbage can. Emergency procedures. In case of any substances in the heating bag accidentally entering the eyes or accidental ingestion, please immediately rinse with water, induce vomiting, or seek medical advice. <laughs> okay. The nutrition value of this self-heating beef hot pot, uh, one container contains 370 grams and it is 761 calories with 20 grams of protein, 47 grams of fat, 9 grams of saturated fat, 62 grams of carbs, 3 grams of sugar, and 5,643 milligrams of sodium. Daily sodium intake. The American Heart Association recommends no more than 2,300 milligrams a day and moving towards an ideal limit of no more than 1,500 per day for most adults. This is more than two times <laughs> the recommended daily limit of sodium intake. So I'm really excited to try this because one, I'm super hungry, and two, I tried the MRE from the US Army, and this is kind of like an MRE. So now I'm gonna open the package. Wow! <laughs> it has the Heidi Lao logo on it. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Whoa. I don't know what I was expecting.
expecting, but I don't think I was expecting this. <laughs> okay, let's see. We got some noodles. This is mixed vegetables. I think this is the food container case. And we have some cutlery. And cured beef. Oh, there's meat in here. Maybe that's why it's so expensive. And then here's the hot pot soup stock. This is the heating bag. Cool. So step one is to tear open all the food packages onto the food container case. I'm going to start with the mixed vegetables. Whoa. There's a lot of stuff in here. Next, I'm going to go in with the cured beef. Yeah, that's some real beef. <laughs> yeah, give me all that spice. And then lastly, we have the noodles. Looks good so far. Step two is to add the hot pot soup stock slowly onto the food container case. Fill the food container case with cold water until the indicated line on the case. Here is the hot pot soup stock. Oh my god, it's very oily. They do have other flavors as well. They had a spicy vegetable base, hot pot, and a tomato soup base, hot pot. Those probably aren't as oily. So next I have to add the water. I'm just gonna try to stir it a little bit because I think the indicated line is right here, and some of the food is kind of overflowing. Maybe I should have added the noodles first. I can see why this is so expensive. Okay, that looks good. So I'm adding some cold water. Next step is to remove the wrap of the heating bag and then place it in the black bottom box, add normal water until the indicated line. So I'm going to put this on the side. So we put the heating bag into this box. Okay, please don't explode. <laughs> Let's go. Was that too sick? Oh no. Yeah, I think this looks good. Then I put this in. We put the lid on. And we put the lid on. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it on my table. And stay away from it for 15 minutes until it's ready to eat. Okay, I know it hasn't been 15 minutes, but what the hell is going on right now? Whoa! That was really fast. That was literally maybe like 30 seconds to one minute after I put it on the table. I am very impressed. That's a lot of steam. I can feel the hotness from here. Okay, I'm actually going to move this into the sink because it seems like it's really hot and I don't want to burn the table. <laughs> okay, it's in the sink now. So I think it's ready. It's not too hot when you touch it, but 
it's a little, it's warm. Whoa! <laughs> Here's what it looks like. It looks really good, actually. So here is a better look. Mm. Oh yeah. I freaking love noodles. The beef looks really soft. And there's a ton of veggies. Okay. I am salivating. Let's eat this. <laughs> okay, so I actually have my own chopsticks, but in their cutlery pack, they have chopsticks, and a spoon, and a toothpick. And what is this? Ah! Whoa! Cool! It's an extension cube for the chopsticks. Wow! That is so fancy. Because <laughs> it wouldn't have fit in the box otherwise. Huh, how interesting. Okay, so... Besides the noodles and the beef, there's some... Um, seaweed and bamboo shoots these are wood fungus <laughs> it's very popular in Asia and we have some lotus roots I think that's it all very good hot pot ingredients It is thoroughly cooked and actually surprisingly spicy. A very authentic taste. The flavor of the soup has really soaked into the noodles. Mm. It has a strong numbing sensation from the peppercorns, aka mala. Wow, this is really good. This is the wood fungus. I'm sure it has other names, but in Mandarin it's called mu. It's really healthy. It's grown on tree barks. You should try some seaweed. So soft. Okay, I need to try this beef. Everything has been good so far. If the beef is good, then it will be perfect. Wow. The beef is so soft. It is so tender. It has like, it's mostly lean, but it has like a nice small strip of fat on it. Very balanced. It's not dry at all. I think everything in the vegetables package was already cooked. So, the texture is perfect. Okay, so I think I'm going to take a break on eating for now, but I do want to give a review on this self-heating spicy beef hot pot. So, actually, it is way better than I expected. The whole thing is very flavorful, and the texture of everything was perfect. It is way better than I expected for something that is pretty instant although it is made by Heidi Lau and every time I've been there it's been nothing but the best 
So the only thing I might say that is not as good is just like it's a little too oily for me, but I think that's because I got the spicy beef flavor and it usually is this oily when you eat hot pot if you're gonna get the mala flavor. But I'm sure the tomato or the spicy vegetables option is probably not going to be oily. So that's something maybe you want to take into consideration. But other than that, everything is good. The beef was really tender and not dry. And the vegetables were really good for hot pot. The noodles were cooked well. And it was really easy to make. So is it worth the $9? Honestly, in Taiwan, if you go out to eat like a personal hot pot, at least here in Kaohsiung, you can probably do it for around five US dollars, maybe a little bit less, and this ended up costing nine. I would suggest doing it for maybe a one time thing, or if you really wanted to see hot pot at home. But. I think it's really cool to try once. It was really fascinating, the whole process. So, yeah. That is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And smash that notification button to see my future videos. Okay, thank you. <laughs>